Hi guys, welcome to MS Power Automate. In today's video, we will learn how to create a dictionary variable in Power Automate Desktop. Firstly, I would like to read an Excel file which contains a column of keys and values. So if I open my Excel file here, I have four sheets here and I have the name and value. I want the name to be as the key and the value will be the value that I want. So the dictionary variable will be if I look for the application list, it will give me the value of this column. All right. And then over here, I'll be having for match to try number or any other keys that I would like to set. Okay, so for here, the first thing what we will need to do is we need to set a custom object variable. So to do that, what you can do is you use a set variable. And let's call this as config. And I would like to use a percentage here followed by two curly, open curly brace and two close curly brace. And this will be set as custom object. If you did not include the percentage here, you will detect as a string. Okay, so please take note to include the percentage here. Alright, so now the next step, what I would what like to do is to create a subflow called read config. Okay, in my read config here, of course I need to read the Excel file, right? So the first thing what I will need to do is I want to ensure all my Excel file is closed before reading it. So I would like to kill a process by process name and it's called Excel. Click save. Okay, so the next step here, what I will need to do is I launch Excel. launch and open the following document and i set the path of my config file i set this as false save okay so now the next step what i would like to do is i want to get all the excel worksheets i want to do a look through the entire sheets available in my excel right and then it will give, provide me a variable called sheet names Okay, so from here, I will then start to use a for each loop. For each sheet names, I will store this as current sheet. And I click save. Then, for each of these sheet, I want to focus on this sheet first. I read this value and I read this value. After that, once done, then I will proceed to constant sheet, read this and this, and then continue until the last sheet available. Okay, so from here, what I will need to do is I set active Excel worksheet, and then I will based on the current i current sheet. Okay. And then next, I will also want to get the first free row. Why do I use get first free row? Basically, I would like to know how many items available in this sheet. So this will be dynamic. Maybe here can be have, we can have three, we can have four, we can have five and so forth, right? So this get first free row will make it more dynamic. And then, the next thing what I would like to do is I will use a loop condition and over here it will produce me a variable called loop index. However, the value to start from, I set it as 2. Why 2? Because I want to read starting from Excel row 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and continue. Right, so from here, start from 2 and to the first free row, minus 1. Okay, and then increment by 1. 
I click save. Okay, so now from here, now I'm already looping based on how many items are there. So the first free row will give me five, I minus one, so it will get four. So two, three, four. Now I'm going to read this value and also read this value. So from here, I will start to use read from Excel worksheet. And I will be retrieving from the value of a single cell, starting from column A. And start row, I'll be using the loop index. And I would like to store this as a temporary key. Okay, and I copy this and paste it again. This time round is for column B. And the value will be temp value. And I click saved. Okay, so now we need to ensure that if the temp key is not empty, then we will extract, we will get the value. We will then assign this to a config custom object type. Right, so from here, I would like to use if sorry, shouldn't be here, it should be inside this loop. If temp key is not empty or isn't empty, okay, save. Then I would like to set a variable. Basically, I'm trying to assign a config type here. And I also would like to set the temp key. Then I will set the value as temp value. And I click save. Okay. Once all this thing is done, of course, I need to use the close Excel. Okay, let me drag again. All right, so I accidentally placed it at the wrong sequence. Let me expand this and delete this. Okay, so now I click save. Okay, so let's test this out. I go back to my main and I would like to run subflow to call my read config. Okay, then if I try to run this, you take a look at the variable in config. As you can see here, it's a, it's a JSON object type. And I keep getting the key and value, and I will assign it to the config file. Okay, if I open this, as you can see here, I have a JSON object application list and the value. Okay, so how do I ensure that I'm able to retrieve the value of the subject to filter? Okay, so if I, let me copy this subject to filter. If I go back to my main, and I would like to use a display message. I put it after here, and I would like to set it as subject to filter. And I set this as config, followed by a square bracket, subject to filter. Okay, so I click save, and let me run again. And I got the value as subject to filter SPO. So I miss out a T here, it's fine.
Alright, so that's all for this exercise on how to create a dictionary data type. So if you're keen to learn more, do remember to subscribe our channel as we have constant updates and tutorial videos on Microsoft Power Automate Desktop. Thank you.